Hey, my name is Adam and I'm going to be talking about the importance of resizing your photos for email and show you how to do this using a free program from Google called Picasa. One of the main reasons why it's important to resize your photos for email is the file size, both for you and the recipient of the email. Most digital cameras these days produce very large images. This is good for setting as a desktop wallpaper or for printing out, but it's not good for emails. It's going to take you a long time to send the images and a long time for the recipient to receive them. In addition to the file size, you have the actual size of the image itself as it appears on the monitor. Here's an email that I sent to myself with several pictures. Let's say that I wanted to click on one to get a better look at it. You'll see that it's extremely large and very difficult to see what's going on. You have to use the scroll bars to scroll around. It would be much better if the picture was resized to begin with. Now I'll show you how to do it using Picasa. So here I am in Picasa with some sample pictures that came with Windows Vista. Let's say that I wanted to email all of them except for this turtle one to my friend. Now I need to first select the ones that I would like to send. And the way to do that is to click the first one, then hold down the shift key on your keyboard and click the last one. Now you'll notice that there's a blue border around all the ones that I've highlighted. Now as I mentioned, I don't want to send the turtle one. So the way that I can deselect it is by using the control key. I'll use control and click on it and you'll see that there's no longer a blue border around it. Now that I've got the ones that I'd like to send, I'll go up to the file menu and choose export picture to folder. Now here I am at the export to folder window and I have a few settings that I need to take care of first. First of all, the location of the exported folder. I usually like to throw things onto my desktop just because it's easy to find. So I'll click the browse button and choose my desktop and click OK. Now that I've got the desktop set here, I'll name the exported folder resized just so that it's easy for me to know what they are. Now here, it's asking you which, what you would like to resize the photos to, how many pixels. Now I like to choose 750 and the reason for that is 800 can sometimes be too large for some monitors. So 750 is good for maximum compatibility. Those are the main settings that you need to change. You can just leave the image quality on automatic. After that I'll click OK and you'll see over here it's exporting and it opened the folder so that I could see where it is. But I already know that it's on my desktop, so I don't need to worry about that. I'll just close out of that. Now that I've resized my photos, I'm done with Picasa, so I'll close that as well. Here I am on my desktop, and you can see that there's now a folder here called Resized. And here are my images in their new size.